Well, in the past 25 years, the rates of some cancers fell thanks to better prevention efforts. But during that same period, the frequency of some S esophageal cancers rose dramatically. The cause of the increase remains a mystery. Joining us this morning about some of the risk factors of which we should be aware, board certified surgeon Dr. Garrett Phil. I knew I was going to do that. Esophageal <laughs> cancer. That's why we have you here, expert, to talk Good about morning. some of these risk factors. Mm -hmm. Yes. For example, drinking alcohol, smoking, mm -hmm. being obese, drinking very hot liquids frequently, eating few fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. and the number one, what we think, link is reflux disease, so GERD and heartburn symptoms. Also, those lead to Barrett's esophagus, which is a change of cells in the esophagus, and the number one risk factor is smoking. Oh, wow. It seems like all these things are things we can change very easily, right? And a lot Eat of better, these things are lifestyle smoking. issues that, that can be prevented, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, the, the issue is that what we're seeing is esophageal cancer is on the rise, and we feel that it's maybe because reflux disease is not being treated right. frequently. Yeah. And there are treatments for esophageal cancer, such as uh, usually surgery. Depending upon the stage, some patients need uh, medical oncology referrals and radiation oncology referral teams to help with chemotherapy and radiation. However, the survival is dismal. And so the key is to work to prevent the reflux disease. So if we think we can maybe stop the reflux in its tracks, we may be able to prevent the esophageal cancer, and there's been some ways to do that. Uh, first, many people have heard of Nexium, right? Mm -hmm. A proton pump inhibitor to decrease right. the amount of acid that's produced in your stomach so that you decrease the amount of reflux into the esophagus. Some people need surgery, mm -hmm. such as a fundoplication, which is a minimally invasive laparoscopic approach where we create a new valve to prevent reflux into the esophagus. The new revolutionary surgery, is I'm very excited because we do it right here in Beaumont at Previty at Baptist Hospital, is the Streta procedure. The Streta procedure is a minimally invasive approach, and <clears throat> essentially through energy, through radio frequency waves, we are able to restructure the valve of the esophagus. And you can see there, energy is being given to the esophagus and the stomach. And over time, that valve gets tighter. Mm -hmm. And by having the valve restructured, we are decreasing the risk of reflux of bile up into the esophagus from the stomach. This is an interesting thing because yeah. it's not done with an incision. It's done with the patients um, essentially in a sedation, so mm -hmm. you don't usually need general surgery, wow. like a scope potentially. Mm -hmm. right. And for my patients, most of them are off their uh, PPIs, their next wow. protonics, uh, within several months. And That's this awesome. may decrease the risk of esophageal cancer. I mean, for those of us with one or more of the uh, potential symptoms leading up to this, that's that's big news. Uh, would that help with um, perhaps sleep apnea as well or, or snoring issues? Sure. Yeah. We, we feel that sometimes GERD or what we would call laryngeal reflux, LERD, can contribute mm -hmm. to sleep apnea. Um, the key to understanding all of this is that, um, you know, you may not need surgery. Potentially the strata could right. help. And for patients who have bariatric surgery that now all of a sudden have reflux and heartburn, mm -hmm. strata is the only FDA-approved procedure mm -hmm. for reflux in patients with bariatric surgery. So it's an exciting frontier. And it could prevent cancer. It could. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Cancer. Great advice. Good yeah. stuff to know for, like I said, those of us that <laughs> are struggling with some of those things. We appreciate it, Dr. Phil. Good to see you as always. Yeah. Coming up after the break, it is time to say happy birthday and today's celebrity celebrating a birthday actually left the music business after two albums and went to work as a waitress hmm, then later coming up what jasper police say they'll start wearing on their uniforms starting today it's now 622